It's probably been a long time since you didn't know what a vector was. It's something that has magnitude and direction. Yes, I've got that part. In general, if I asked you to draw a vector, you'd probably give me something like this, a magnitude and a direction. This is a vector. It has a magnitude and a direction. I don't even really, frankly, need to have the axes. I can just tell you what the direction is. I, J, and K are the unit vectors along the X, Y, and Z axes. Probably pretty good with that. If I gave you this vector, it lies along this line, and it has that magnitude. It certainly has magnitude and direction. It's a vector. Um, I can give you directions. I'm going to go 72 miles northwest. That's a, magn a vector. I can also say I'm going to go 200 miles north along I-40. That's a vector. It has magnitude and direction. What I want to do right now is sort of take a half step back and say, what classifications can I give you? I mean, you're good at recognizing what a vector is, but what are the sum total of the ways I can actually use a vector? I, this is the sort of the way I think about it, and we're going to talk, tackle each of these in turn. There are a lot of formulas on this graph. You can print out one from the web. Um, right now, it might look a little overwhelming, but what's interesting is that by the end of the first eight days of class, you'll be able to do this. So what I want you to start thinking of when you look at a vector is classification. You see a vector, you ask yourself, how is it given to me? Is it given to me as a magnitude and direction, magnitude along a line, or Cartesian form? And how do I move from one of these to another of these? There's a lot of information on the review site about that. Um, we're going to be pretty good at this very shortly, but I want you to keep it in mind as we're going through. How is this vector given to me? As you see, going from magnitude along a line to Cartesian form uses something that I refer to as position vector unirect to multiply. We'll do that a lot. This going from magnitude and direction to Cartesian form just is some basic trig. This is the kind of classification scheme I'm hoping you'll, you'll latch onto. And the reason I'll give you for thinking about how a vector is classified is that when you've actually taken a minute to identify what you have, you set up little pathways in your brain that tell you what you need to do with it next.